thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, I'm quite excited because in a few weeks' time, I'm reopening the Share Pickers Investment Club. I've not been taking on new members for over eight months. And the reason for this is because the website has been undergoing a major upgrade. Part of this upgrade is the launch of the UK's first and only microcap league. The UK microcap league is a system that scores companies on the 20 metrics that count when it comes to moving the share price of small businesses. In short, it's a list of over 100 companies ranked on their risk reward profile. So the companies at the top of the league possess good upside potential with relatively low risk. If you take any date and look at the best performing stocks over the last five years on the UK stock market, you will find 60% of them roughly started with their market capitalization below 100 million market cap. That is a micro cap. If you're an investor, you will know we've been in a bear market for over 700 days. The AIM All Share Index, where most of these micro caps sit or exist, okay, has been down 49% since the 6th of September 2021. But how have the top 10 companies performed? Out of the 10 companies, the share price of nine of them have risen since the start of the year. The biggest riser gained 42%. That's since the start of January. And the average gain for the 10 companies was 22%. Okay, let's go back a bit further. Since the start of 2023, the AIM All Share Index has dropped by 9.78%. But how have the top 10 companies on the UK microcap list performed? The best performer, share price rose by 400%. But let's look at the average. The average gain for these top 10 companies on the microcap league was 65%. I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of one of those companies right now. In the top 10, this company is called Synectix. It's risen by 27.5% since the start of the year and 54% since the start of 2023. And I want to reiterate, we've been in a bear market. So the majority of the market has been going down. Yet this company, ranked in the top five, I'll tell you that, has done 27.5% since the start of this year and 54% since the start of next year. So this is the Microcap League. There's other things on the website, of course. Let's scroll down. Let's, uh, let's get uh, Synectics, for example. Uh, S-Y-N. Click here. That's the league. And then you click on and you see the company information. It tells you exactly what they do. If you click this here, it takes you to the company website. They're a leader in advanced security. In this day and age, security is quite essential. Uh, and they help protect people, property, communities, and assets around the world. Their expertise in providing solutions for specific markets where security and surveillance are critical to operations. So here's the company information. Share price, 193. Target price by the broker is 293. That's 51% up or 52% up. The market cap is here. Of course, there's all explainers on this. If you want to know what these mean, just pick that. Enterprise value, that's lower than market caps. So that means they have more cash. Uh, net asset per share is above their current share price, and yet they're profitable. That, to me, says a good value. But we can check the value in a bit. And you've got all these, the volume, you can see what kind of liquidity is there, the revenue, operating profit, uh, debt, cash, operating cash flow. And then here's total scores for all the metrics that help score these companies. And you can see they're in the green. They're color-coded. And when in the green, it's good. Amber, questionable, red, a mm, little bit worrying, okay? These are the final results. You can see on the growth side, most important metric for small cap companies, growth. There are growth companies. Do they have growth? So next, let's look at this. Every single metric is in green. Total score maximum, 30. All right? In fact, they scored 94 out of 100. That's very good. And you can see here, between the half-year results and the full-year results, they've even improved. Growth has gone up. So the second half is even better than the first half. You can sort of see they're improving throughout the year. Then we've got a value. And you've got price to sales, 0.7. Uh, PE, 16. But that will be improving as more cash drops to the bottom line. Price to book is good. EV Ibdag is good. Price to free cash flow. It's in the red. It's a little bit questionable. So they don't score top scores on that. But nevertheless, it's still in the upper percentage uh, rate for that, 18 points. Health. I also score on these. 
cash, 4.6 million, no debt, current ratio, two times. And if you click on here, you can see what a current ratio is. And it means can, basically, its current assets cover its current liabilities. Yes, they can. Efficiency, 40% uh, is, to, uh, is gross margin, operating margin, and return on capital employed. Like I said, there's all metrics here you can play, click on and explain there. And momentum, their share price is above the 50-day moving average. It's above 200-day. And the 50-day moving average has crossed up above a tuna day, which is the Golden Cross. And you can scroll down here, look at the financial results and interim results, and also look at my forecasts, which are based on broker numbers, but I put my own multiples on them, okay? So that's a look at Synectics. And like I said, I've got 100 companies like that where you can see the detail on, and they're all ranked. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, listen, if you are interested in finding out when the Share Pickers Investment Club reopens to new members, just click the link at the top right of the screen or go to sharepickers.com forward slash subscribe. Thanks for watching the video.